Here is the 692 switch that I purchased at Lowe's. It's got, a, it's got the switch on the bottom and the pilot light on the top. You can use it for a, for a pilot light or for a night light, depending on how you wire it. I'm working with it to make a, a pilot light out of it, so when this switch goes on, the light comes on. And the, the wiring instructions are a little confusing, so I'm just going to run through that really quick. Notice that the switch is on the bottom, the light is on the top. That's your reference. Okay, when I turn it over this way, you will see a brass colored uh, screw and a silver colored screw. The brass colored screw gets the black hot wire that's coming from your power meter. The silver one gets the neutral white wire coming from your power meter. So turn it over again, once again with the switch on the bottom. You'll notice that these two uh, screws are both brass colored. This is where you hook the load or your lamp, fan, outlet, whatever it is you're trying to power and control through this switch. You hook it up here. That could be a black wire, it might be a red wire, but whatever it is, you hook it up there. On, this, on the diagram, they show this being the, in, the power input for the, the um, pilot light. But in reality, this and this are con connected inside internally. So whatever hooks to there is connected to the same electrical point in both places. They show strapping a wire from there to there. Um, and you, might, you could do that, it wouldn't hurt anything. But they know that they are both on the same spot and it will work without the wire. So this, in my case, one black wire comes from the light, the fan, and hooks onto here. And so there you have the 692 uh, switch and pilot light. And once again, everything I'm talking about is referenced with this switch on the bottom. Here's the wiring activity on the Pass and Seymour 692 switch pilot light uh, using the factory supplied diagram as the reference. Once again, the switch is with the switch down, the pilot light up, and this is facing, uh, facing you. On the left side, we have the brass screw and we have the silver screw. The black wire coming from the power meter fuse box attaches onto the brass screw. A white wire coming from the power meter fuse box, which is a neutral, hooks onto the silver screw. On the other side of this switch, and activated by the switch, we have these two brass screws. They are the same electrical point because they are in fact strapped internally together. They show a strap here which is external, and you could put that there, it wouldn't hurt anything, but the fact is this thing is already strapped and to carry on you hook the black or the red wire coming from the load which is your fan your light your outlet whatever you hook that wire on to this brass screw and the other side of the load already has the neutral hooked onto it this wire uh, this screw uh, will receive nothing you can just close it down and just leave it closed and so that would complete the wiring on the uh, 692 switch. Here is the final mounting place of the two uh, switch and pilot light combinations I use. I'm using them to power two separate uh, fan and light combinations. And turn on the left one, the pilot light comes on. Turn on the right one, the pilot light comes on. The reason I'm using them is uh, in the evening when I retire, I frequently forget to turn off the fans and they sit there and run all evening and consume energy. And so I got tired of that and now when I pass through here I can see the red lights and I can flip them off and no more energy waste. So there you have the Pass and Seymour 692 switch and pilot light units in service.